There we go. I don't know what the date is. I see it. Okay. You see it? I did. <laughs> I looked at my phone. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's Saturday, April the 6th at 8 o'clock a.m. Central time. Central time. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. That was delayed. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it takes us a second. Okay. And delays it just for a minute. How is everybody doing this morning? Beautiful morning. Beautiful morning here, here it is. in Alabama. Yep. I don't know what it's like across the nation, but hopefully. Hopefully it's beautiful there too. Yeah, that's right. So what's going on? What is going on? What is going on? Well, got DD by my side, got my coffee in front of me, got my good man beside <laughs> me. What yeah. else could we need? That's right. What else could we need? I yeah. do want I do know what's going on later tonight. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> and that is the final four. Uh -huh. And my Alabama Crimson Tide will be playing the Yukon Huskies in a final four. And we're a huge underdog. Huge underdog. Do all four teams play tonight? Yeah. What time is the other one? I don't know. I it's obviously look. earlier. It's probably before. I, I don't see it being later than Alabama. I got to get my video done <laughs> so he can edit it and watch his basketball. Ooh. Oh, me. Oh, but th that's what's going on this evening. And I'm sure we got a lot going on today. We do. We do. Um, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we do. How's that? Uh, I would say yesterday we did something a little different. What's that? We went to the first Friday. Oh, I thought you meant during the day. No. So you told me about this first Friday event that happens every first Friday. Well, it starts in the warmer months, which April is when Alabama starts to warm up. Right, right. And... um it's they call it first Friday because obviously it's the first Friday of the month of every month going into the warmer season. And it's in downtown Chilton County, mm -hmm. Clanton. And um Jason and I got haircuts yesterday. Mm -hmm. And our haircut lady asked us if we were going. Well, I already I knew that that last night was the first one, but I really hadn't considered going until she emphasized it a little bit more. Right. She said, you know, it's fun. Y'all ought to go. It doesn't cost anything to get in. And so we did. Yeah. We did. We, um, I, I was thinking we're going to have to walk a long way to park. And it may be the case on into the summer months. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have to walk a long way to park. And um, you, you, you went and left as you pleased and it was just a good little outing it was there was all vendor cute little vendors set up yeah it's uh it's really something the city does for the locals yeah and uh they allow i don't think they charge the vendors anything to set up i really don't even know i have no idea there were food trucks there it was um then they got a um a little nice i guess it's yes it's just a bar called yeah. the bearded peach because uh -huh. this is everything's peach around here because it's peach country i think everything's peach around here because our boss lady you think yeah probably peaches. probably but um <laughs> and it's just it's open and i didn't see any restaurants open yeah the um jack's dinner bell was open. okay so there were some restaurants open but uh it was really really nice and then there, there's a little corner area that's obviously always there. It has some seating and a mural painted on the wall. And they always, from what I understand, have somebody playing live music there. Mm -hmm. And um, that was the case last night as well. And you know what? That guy was really good. He was good. He he When we walked in, he was playing George Strait. Yeah. And on the way out, he was playing Lionel Richie. So I mean, I, that's, you, can't, what, you can't even get better than that. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But actually, I had kind of put it out of my mind. I yeah. kind of said, you know, I'm not going to feel up to going right. at, you know, six o'clock tomorrow night and put it out of my mind. And I was on the tractor doing some box blading. Uh -huh. And I get a <laughs> message from our lovely 14 year old daughter. <laughs> and she says, are we going to that first Friday thing? Uh -huh. 
And I responded back and I said, do you want to? And she said, yes. I said, well, then we are. <laughs> and so I immediately stopped what I was doing on the tractor because it was after five then. Wow. And um, and and what came home and took a shower real quick and and we hopped on over to the downtown area. Yeah, it was fun. And so they had food trucks there. And usually we were, or well, at least I'm a sucker for street tacos. And so we were there and I was looking and Mary Carl wanted some chips and dip and they didn't have it at the food truck. Yeah. And so I was like, well, I'm going to skip on the, the tacos. And then they had another food truck over there that is Maine Lobster is, is basically it. And look, it's kind of like a chain. It's uh, it's called Cousins Maine Lobster. And if I'm correct, I saw that there was one in Birmingham, which yeah. is where this food truck was based out of. Knoxville, Tennessee, and Chattanooga, Tennessee is the locations that I saw on the truck. Right. But I must tell y'all that every time I've ever seen that that truck would be in an area, I just think lobster food truck. Right. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or not. Right. So there were three food trucks, one of them being um, the Mexican cuisine. Uh -huh. Another one being uh, more American type, and it was... It was more lemonade and yeah, such yeah, as that. Yeah. Boba. Yeah. That's, that seems to be the thing right now. And uh, then there was the Cousins Main Lobster. And I must tell y'all, the line was the longest for that. It was the longest for that. And then you said, Jason, they got this thing called a lobster grilled cheese. And I was like, that sounds intriguing. I heard to somebody say the least. I heard somebody order it. And, yeah. And it seemed like I heard that more than once. So, you know, that's may have been the go-to. May have been the go-to. So we we got in line and that's what we got was lobster grilled cheese and some tater tots. We got one of them. And yeah. I was not anticipating eating any yeah, of it. I agree. I did have a, a bite of it. And y'all, I'm gonna tell you. May the 1st or whatever day that first Friday lands on, <laughs> if Jason doesn't go want to go with me and Mary Carl didn't want to go, my mama's already agreed that she'll go with me and we're going <laughs> to the lobster food truck. It was that Why grilled cheese. Barking? I don't know. I'm fixing that. We can't even hear. <clears throat> it was, it was knock your socks off. Good. DD. It was really, really good. And they had lots of different things on the menu from uh, lobster rolls was something that I heard requested over and over. Um, and then there were, of course, lobster bisque. Um, let's see. I can't remember some of the other things. I should have taken a picture of the menu. But um, it was really good. Really, really good. <laughs> And it was served in a in a timely manner. You would think that something that involved lobster would take a while, but obviously, being a food truck, it, it can't take a while, or they wouldn't they wouldn't be there because the line was quite long, and there were lots of people waiting on their names to be called. But um, it was good. It was good, and I am going to try something different on the May first Friday. I don't care if we just go down there just to just to eat. Um, it. It'll be worth it. Now, it wasn't the cheapest thing. No. Um, there. Wasn't. I must say that it was, I was a little, I uh, was a little shocked. I know lost, lobster's costly. Lobster's yeah. costly. But um, it, it was a little costly, everything on the menu. So it will have to be something that's pre planned and uh, <laughs> budget planned for yeah. to enjoy the lobster. It was fun. What were some of the other things on the menu? I know the rolls. Tacos. Lobster tacos. Jason was torn between that, but I heard no one order lobster, lobster tacos. tacos. Um, these people that were in line, they were people that had eaten there previously. Mm -hmm. You could tell. They knew what they wanted when they when they got up there. And um, I even heard somebody have an online order. Really? Yes. And I thought, boy, they were <laughs> they were really thinking ahead. Wow. An online order. But wow. it didn't take that long. It was just a, a well-oiled <clears throat> machine. They had um they had clam chowder. 
I think they had a lobster bisque. Mm -hmm. And I think... Um, I know the rolls. Um, they had shrimp tacos, too, I believe. Really? I think. Huh. I can't remember. Maybe not. <clears throat> it was interesting, to say the least, to yeah. see a, it was good. a lobster food truck in action. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I did hear somebody asked a girl, um, you know, did she eat lobster? Mm-hmm. That that day, and she said, "No, actually, I went to Jack's before, <laughs> beforehand." Oh goodness! <laughs> so I guess you get enough of it. Yep. But the the <clears throat> cheese on it was what what made it so good. Yeah, the cheese was what. I was, mean, of course, the lobster yeah. was good, but yeah. the cheese just it was, was added. really good. Now they had tater tots that were topped with lobster and cheese. Mm -hmm. um, that was an option on the menu. That would probably have been good too. And and they had whoopie pies. <clears throat> they had whoopie pies, and I was thinking that Zoe had been there cooking. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't for sure that Zoe had been there, so I did not order those. <laughs> Zoe from Chestnut <clears throat> Hills. She makes the best sweets and whoopie pies or something she makes. We did have some sweets, though. We did have some sweets. We had, uh, I had a key lime cupcake, and it was good. And Miracle had a strawberry cupcake, and it was good. Mm -hmm. Drip on you. That spilled coffee all over me and it's hot. <laughs> oh, goodness. Is it hanging up? It was for a second. I'm on the wrong tag of internet. How do you swap? Right Will here. it cut it off? I don't know. All right. One, two, three. Y'all. We're back. Is it right? We're back. It says we're live. <clears throat> Somebody give us a comment. Say we're live. Yay. Okay. I think we're live. We think we're back. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, we're back. Okay. Good. <clears throat> so we couldn't leave without sweets. And um, I did see ahead of time that there was going to be some peanut brittle there. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm trying to not eat bad. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do well. So I avoided the peanut brittle. Mary Carl thought about some cotton candy. We stood there and we watched them. And y'all, this is crazy. She didn't want it <laughs> if it was on the stick. <laughs> And so we stood there yeah, and we watched. Yeah, and yeah. I said, Mikra, I don't think they give you the stick. I think they just make the cotton candy on the stick and then pull it off and put it in a bag. So we watched them and that was not the case. <laughs> you got the stick. And so we did not get the cotton candy. I don't know why. I don't oh, know goodness. why. I didn't question it. I just said it's on the stick and yep. we moved on. So we move on to a place called Gemma's. Is that, is that it? That's how you were saying it. Cupcakes. And that is a um, brick and mortar place Mom and Pop, in, yeah. in, uh, in Clanton. Yep. And they had a booth set up. And y'all, I'm going to tell you, everything there was beautiful. It was. It was beautiful. They had all the cupcakes displayed. And and um, I, I could have eaten one of one of every one. But I said, I'm, I'm going to let the, you know, them, they yep. can yep. eat what they want to have a cupcake. So I had seen something in the refrigerator and it was grape salad. And I said, you know, that's got to be good for you. <laughs> I mean, hence the name grape salad, right? So they got their cupcakes and I got my grape salad. And I did not get, they put it in a bag. And I did not get a spoon. But I ate all the grapes that were covered in a cream cheese sugar <laughs> pecan mixture it was good i ate it all on the way home while driving with my fingers and it was messy so i was looking yeah. in between and i had a key lime cupcake and i'm a sucker for key lime i am every time i can if it's key lime key lime or cream brulee i'm in it is i wonder if they make a key lime cream brulee probably not in that combination <sighs> Man, somebody needs to. But the one that, that <laughs> looked the best to me that I passed on was pecan pie. Pecan pie. Oh, my gosh. Everything looked good. The banana pudding. When we walked through, they had a lot of banana pudding in that refrigerator. Uh-huh. And there I mean, were, we there went to the the lobster truck. Not that long. It wasn't that long. And 45 we, minutes. And we probably. came back, they had two left. 
two left. So that tells me that everybody else likes the banana pudding mm. too. Mm. Um, Nico said that Natalie likes the grape salad. It's good. It's really good. Mm. Um, as a matter of fact, I might have to direct my car down to their brick and mortar shop to get me <laughs> some more. So one thing on their mm. little board, they have like a chalkboard that said everything that they were offering. And it said uh, Georgia cornbread. I, I saw that and I'm thinking it was just a thick cornbread, but that wasn't the case. So it was you know, a dessert, wasn't it? I got to ask. Yeah. I said, what is Georgia cornbread? And she said, well, it's kind of like a, a, a brownie. It's kind of like a, a, you know, a, a cookie. Right. And, um, and I said, gosh. And she said, what is it? And I said, I thought it might be something good for me. <laughs> And she said, well, it can be. So she carried on with oh, my man. humor and thinking that I could get something good for me and Georgia cornbread. But I left it there. Yeah. I left it there and I ate my grapes. It was good. It was, it was, uh, it was good. I, I didn't even have a bite of the cupcake because I didn't want to be. You didn't have a bite, but her cream cheese icing is. Mary Carl got a strawberry. It was good too. I got snuck a little. Oh, bit. did you? Yeah. She got a strawberry one. Of course, she doesn't eat all of of anything. She doesn't. She mm. uh she she takes a few bites and then yeah comes back for more later. So uh, I may get a bite of hers this morning. I may, I may put in a request. It ain't got to be you know, but what a key lime pie. Oh, Jason! If it's here, I've got to eat it, <laughs> and especially if I cook it myself, I've got to eat it. So oh, you know, man. you may do better just. Just getting the key lime pie on the run. Maybe so. On the run. <laughs> but it was quite interesting. We saw a couple of friends for, that moved to this area from our hometown. Yes. And that was Brian and Stacy Wells. That's right. And um, good to always good to see those uh, two. And, you know, just know that you're in the same area with it is. two other people that you knew all your life. It is. Good people, too. Um, Nick has got a good idea. What's that? Save. You don't have to worry about doing it. Uh-huh. We can just go buy pies by Mike. Yeah, that's the truth. And we can get a single piece, and then you won't have to be tempted. That's right. Because I that? have picked you up a some key lime pie. pie from Pies by Mike, mm -hmm. and I did not eat any of it. That's right. I let you have it all. So... <laughs> I don't know. We shall see. Oh, me. So I see a lot of people asking about your doctor's appointment. Yes. And I guess we need to get into that. Well, um, first of all, I'll tell you that I hope to be starting on some new medication soon. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of pending with insurance. So hopefully that will be approved and, uh, and I'll get on some medicine and start feeling better. But uh, not so fast. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, first things first. Steps that's got to be taken. But I will tell y'all that my appointment was at 940. And so I went alone. Mary Carl did not want to go with me. However, she had said the day before she was going to go with me. <laughs> Typical 14-year-old, right? That's right. And then I asked, you know. Yeah, you were going to go, go. But there was no need for anybody to go. I just needed to get this taken care of. Um, got in traffic I was, of course, 45 minutes ahead of my schedule when I left the house, mm -hmm. got in traffic, and I ended up getting there two minutes before my appointment time, and my gas gauge had 21 miles left on the fuel. Which I can't believe you did that. So, to say I was a little <laughs> anxious when I got there, uh, my blood pressure was 113 over 76 when I got in there, and I do not know <clears throat> how. Because my anxiety was up here. But obviously I was doing something oh, right goodness. to remain calm because I made it through my visit with him and he was very, very thorough and good and um and I felt comfortable with the doctor. So that means a lot to you. And um just, you know. Really no diagnosis. Not, no not a pinpoint diagnosis. He knows <clears throat> it's autoimmune. Yeah. He knows it's autoimmune. Um did repeated this some of the same blood work that I'd already had done before and just to check levels and uh not much has changed. So we're just you know, it may it may be that another symptom has to emerge before a pinpoint diagnosis, but it may be that the medication takes a hold of it and another symptom never pops up. Right. 
<clears throat> hopefully I get to feeling better and, um, and we can go from there. Yeah, that's right. That's, um, so that is good news. Yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's good news. I'm just, um, I'm glad to <clears throat> finally be in. Right. In with the rheumatologist and have a contact. So good. <clears throat> I see people asking about the coffee. Uh, what's, are we getting a new flavor out this month? Well, uh, most of y'all know that we did Southern pecan and then butter caramel. And then we're going to have a vote on, cause we wanted to have one that, that was here all the time. Right. And so <clears throat> we didn't know which flavor that would be. And Ryan's the coffee guru. And he said that these are the two most popular flavors. Mm hmm so what we decided to do was is let you guys vote on um, the uh, the flavor that would stick around. That would stick around, and so we did the southern pecan first, and then we did the uh, butter caramel. And so Ryan's been working on it, and so this is the month that you guys are going to vote and see which one you like. So both flavors are now available on the website. Where's that, Brooke? www.cogkillfarm.com <laughs> so and we're going to get a poll up Jacqueline's going to get that up on the website um this week so you guys can go vote on which coffee you like the best and then we're going to put polls up on social media too and that way you guys can get um can vote on which coffee you like the best as well and then we're, we'll continue on to to you know try different things but we wanted a one one stick flavor, around stick around coffee that's right yep that's right and i'm not gonna tell you which one i like best uh -huh. i like both of them but it's not my decision it's not your decision <laughs> but you can vote i mean oh can i yeah okay yeah, anonymously you can vote. You can vote. <clears throat> okay uh people are asking about your tongue you know you oh yeah well he didn't really have any answers for my tongue um and that you did the MRI. Oh yeah, I did the <clears throat> MRI. Yeah. The MRI was clear. Um, it was it was called a, a soft tissue MRI. So that included everything from my neck up. I found out that it's even the front part of your brain mm -hmm. was included in the MRI. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. It showed nothing. I was in the clear for the MRI. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell you twice. I'm I'm pretty darn healthy. <laughs> Besides the fact that I hurt from head to toe oh, goodness. every day and my mouth feels like I stuck a battery to my tongue, I'm healthy. Yeah. I have no no tumors. I have no um lymph node problems. I'm I'm good. Right. So, you know, that's kind of a relief. <laughs> but then again, I wish that I had a pinpoint diagnosis that we could go ahead with. Right. But that's just the mystery of autoimmune. Is your body is attacking itself and healthy cells are for whatever reason being destroyed and your body's not functioning as it should. And that could be one of 80 different reasons yep. that it, it, that it could be happening. Yep. So, um, you know, to, to pinpoint and, and determine exactly what the cause of it is, mm -hmm. it takes a long time. It does. <clears throat> and then you thought it would, might have been, I PMR. thought it was called PMR, which is polyrheumatic <laughs> polymyalgia rheumatica. I had to yeah. close my eyes to yeah. say it. Yeah. And I I even joined a group on Facebook, um, a support group, mm -hmm. because I was so convinced that that's what I have. And he pretty much nipped that in the bud because I'm 48 years old. And it it's it's almost notoriously happens after the age of 50 and on up. But um, I still don't know if, if that is not the, I don't know. He's the doctor. I'm the patient. Right. I just, that's from my research. That's what mm -hmm. I thought I had. And my doctor, the one that I first saw when I first started having the pain, she actually wrote that at the top of her list of what she thought it could be. And she knew that it was, I was too young. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, things happen. But I called my doctor. Yeah. And, um, you know, because we're friends. Right. And uh, I told him, you know, what was going on and what the uh, rheumatologist said. 
and about the PMR too. And he said it immediately. He said I was too young. He said you was too young. Hmm. That, without even really saying what he said. He said, I would have I said the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways. Um, I, I mean, you know, they've ran every test under the book from thyroid to oh, yeah. vitamin deficiencies to tick-borne diseases. Yeah. Everything, everything is in the clear. Everything. Um, parasites. Know, parasites. Everything. Everything is in the clear mm -hmm. except for I have inflammation. And um, my platelets are a little bit high, which mm -hmm. the rheumatologist thought that went hand in hand. Elevated platelets can be caused from inflammation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those two going hand in hand, there's obviously something causing my pain and inflammation is there. So let's try to treat it. Let's try to treat it. Let's try to treat it. So the, we, we talk about Tucker, the horse. Yeah. A lot. Uh-huh. And I went down a rabbit hole and was looking at old pictures. I, I tend to do that. And um, Tucker came up. And I was like, you know what? I got to show everybody Tucker the horse and how sweet he was. Yes. And how Mary Carl loved him dearly. Yes. So we talk about Tucker, our little miniature horse we had. And it was Mary Carl's pride and joy. And how we got into horses was mm -hmm. because of this little pony. And here is Tucker, the mini horse, right there. Y'all look at him. And look at Mary Carl, y'all. It looks like he's got something in his mouth in that picture. I think his mouth yeah. was open. I think it's just a shadow. But look at this one. That was her Christmas picture. Yeah, this was her Christmas picture that year. And you can see how little he is because Mary Carl, how old is Mary Carl there, you reckon? About four. So he was a little fellow, but he was so sweet. This was the day we got him. Yes. And Mary Carl was so excited. And look at her giving him a little kiss. <laughs> now, Mary Carl didn't know we were getting him. Remember? No. When we brought him home. We borrowed your granddaddy's we borrowed trailer. borrowed my granddaddy's trailer. And brought him home, and Mary Carl was, I mean, Mary Carl was still in diapers, bro. Mm. <laughs> Tucker was the sweetest horse. But then when we got other oh, horses. Yeah, he tended to, we thought, He didn't get mean. No, but he became a horse. He, didn't, he just wasn't near as tame as he was when we first got him. I wanted to show you guys Tucker. I know we talk about Tucker all the time. And, um. So, um, oh, I hear, look. What is that? Your cupcake? That's my key lime cupcake right there. Well, we go from a horse to a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, we thought the best thing to do was to get Tucker a friend because... We had goats, but he didn't have one of his kind. Yeah. And um, we kind of felt like, you know, they're herding animals and then he needed something of his own kind. And after we got other horses, basically he turned into a horse. His attention was not focused on humans so mm -hmm. much anymore. It was focused on the other horses. And he kind of, you know, he didn't turn mean or anything. He just, no. he was hard to catch. Yeah. From that point forward. And uh, kind of, kind of, wasn't the initial horse that he was, right? If that makes sense. But um, <clears throat> y'all, I mean, every day when I got off work, oh I had, gosh, I had a saddle tucker up, which was <clears throat> saddling a horse up. It's, I mean, it's not like it takes thirty minutes, yeah. but I had to saddle him up, get him ready, and then we would walk Mary Car around. And some days I say, well, Mary Carl, <clears throat> can we just brush Tucker, brush Tucker or ride him bareback? Uh-huh. Could never ride him bareback. Uh -uh. Always had to saddle him up. <laughs> yeah, he had to be saddled up. And I didn't feel comfortable without Jason being there. <clears throat> somebody always walked beside her on Tucker and then somebody led him. Right. And that way, you know not that we could prevent a horse from bucking or something like that, but we felt more comfortable. And she always wore a helmet. 
um, me doing it by myself was kind of out of the question. So she could not wait until her daddy got home <laughs> to saddle, hook her up and go for a walk <sighs> down the driveway. And of course that was, you know, when the time was time change happened. Yeah. Yeah. That's Cause right. it was dark when he got home during the winter months. Mm -hmm. She loved that little horse. She did love that little horse. Yeah. We did too. We did too. We did too. We think about him often. I sure do. Um, he, was, uh, he ended up going to to a great home where um, kids could love on him, and that's right. He could be attended to well. I don't know if that was the correct. I lost my words. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> he went to a good home. How's that? He went to a great home. He really did. Are we going to watch the eclipse? I see a lot of pictures. I mean, a lot of people asking about the clips and then that reminded me of another i'm full of pictures today y'all you are so the last time <laughs> that doesn't even look like peaches she's so dark the last time we had any that she had shed her hair too. yeah it was during the last time we had a solar eclipse well what when was that picture taken 2018 i think okay i think it was 2018 peaches was um she <laughs> called it yeah, she did. <laughs> She's wearing her glasses, and <laughs> it doesn't even look like peaches. Her it hair, don't, does it? Her hair shed, and that's peachy. Her dark skin. <clears throat> but um, I think we're getting what are we? You said eighty percent. I believe saying? that's what Mary Carl told me. Was eighty percent. Um, yeah, we'll 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 probably watch it. We're probably I know every gas station around here's probably got glasses. I'm sure. I don't know. Last oh. time it was, I remember there were glasses everywhere. You remember that? It's like everybody had glasses for sale. Yeah, but I hadn't seen any. I guess I probably hadn't paid any attention. I guess either. not either. Um, hmm. I yeah. don't know. But regardless, now I did see a uh, a guy watch. He's like a a science channel, whatever his name's Hank Green, uh -huh. and um, <clears throat> he said he wanted to put a warning out there since it's going to be you know pretty solid what totality mm -hmm. um still do not look at it without glasses on he said it'll look like you can and you can you can look at it and but it'll still burn your retinas um i answered a facebook message that i saw pop up and they wanted to know if we would put all of our animals in the barn during the eclipse well I've never seen any of our animals out there staring at the sun. Yeah, me either. So I, I don't know how we could possibly put all of our animals in the barn, meaning Moody yeah. and Joe and Loretta and Gus. and But they're not going to get out there and burn their retinas looking at them. Was that the reason why they wanted us to I guess. Them? I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, why else would it be? I, I have no idea. It and it shouldn't. How long is it going to last? I don't hmm. know. I don't know. Well, the last one didn't last very long. A couple of minutes. A few I minutes. Don't know. I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know. But but our beekeepers are Rachel and Roy. They're they're gung ho. Well, they're I don't know about it. Roy. Oh, Rachel. Yeah, it's Rachel, Rachel. and her and Matt. Oh, okay. So they're they're they're. I say chasing it. They're going. Follow. They're going to Arkansas. They're going to Arkansas. <laughs> They're going to Arkansas. And I think that's where the totality will occur is Arkansas, yeah. Texas. There's like 12 I states. So. Mm -hmm. 12 states that it will be um, a total eclipse. And uh, Alabama's not one of them. So they're going to head to Arkansas and and have a memorable moment. Sure. I think so. Now, the last time, I think we got pretty close to five years ago. I, I don't remember. I remember looking at it, but. I was at work and we had all of, all of us had glasses at work and we went outside and looked at it. I don't know at, what at the, the dealership. I mean, obviously the glasses are made specifically for that, but yes, you can't what's see the nothing. difference in the sunglasses and the Oh, you can't. This way th those glasses, you couldn't you couldn't see you don't have any. I used to I kept them, but I think we probably <laughs> oh, goodness, Jason, we can't <laughs> find anything. <laughs> There's no hope. <clears throat> They said Niagara Falls is calling for a state of emergency for the eclipse. I don't, I don't. Why? I don't know. I don't understand. Hmm. I don't understand because it's just going to go dark. Somebody said four minutes. 2017 was the last one. 2017. Okay. 2017. I was you close. were one year off. I was one year off. 
Yeah. One year doesn't mean much. Yeah. But four minutes of being dark. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's something I don't know about. Yeah. We don't watch the news around here. We don't. <laughs> Zero news. <laughs> and sometimes we might should, but it's a lot of negativity that we don't want to expose ourselves to. Yeah. I just, I'd, I'd rather not know. I guess that's. That's kind of good and bad, I reckon. It's kind of dumb, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of good and bad. I stay away from the news. <laughs> oh, me. I was going to say something about your video where you showed the goslings. Yeah. Um, I did have two little goslings to hatch, and Jason showed them in the last video, which was about the close calls with Moody getting out and the t tornado touching down down the road from us. And uh, a lot of people did not think those were the two goslings that I showed. Mm -hmm. And it, I actually, well, I don't watch the videos, but after I read that <laughs> over and over and over again, I found it in the video and I stopped it yeah. and I looked <clears throat> at it. And after enlarging it and looking at it, you can faintly see the dark color on one of the goslings that does not show up in the camera. It's the front that's yellow and... I should have kept walking. I did keep walking and I could see the brown, but I guess I didn't video. Well, that. you showed the side of it. It's just that it was not prevalent in the camera. Oh, okay. The dark, it looked like it was solid yellow. I got you. But, I, you know, when I zoomed it in and I looked at it, I knew there's only two goslings out there. I promise you. <laughs> there's not any other ones. And it just did not show up mm. on the camera. But it's the same ones. What? I got an answer about the state of emergency. Okay, what? Traffic and crowds. Huh. They said that so many people are going to try to watch it. And, and that's so, going to be so many people at Cog Hill Farm. It's going to be three, four of us and no traffic jams, <laughs> no problems. This is where we'll so be. So it's probably like um, highly populated areas is what yeah. I'm guessing that they're, they're calling for that. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. You don't want a bunch of folks standing out in the middle of the road. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. What time is it? I'm 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 afraid and sad to say I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just when, when it happens, it happens, right? I bet you somebody on here is gonna tell us. Oh, I bet so too. <laughs> I mean, why do we even need to watch the news? I don't know. When when our followers just keep us in the know. Keep us in the know. That's right. Um around yeah. three in the afternoon. I really is don't. that central time? I really don't even know what day it is. I think it's the seventh. <laughs> Wait, that's tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Is it tomorrow or Monday? Now, the, the time would vary because if you're in Texas. Well, yeah, that's what I said. Three oh. o'clock is at Alabama time. Yeah. Um. Well. Monday. Monday. Okay, so it's the 8th, not it's the Monday. 7th. It's Monday. Okay. The I thought eighth. it was Monday, but I also <laughs> thought it was the 7th. Oh, my uh. gracious. Uh. Well. Let's see. Well, I guess the good thing is, is I don't video on Mondays. I was just I thinking, video, what are we... though, I could video and see what the animals do. Okay. You do during that. the solar eclipse. I can bet there's probably not going to be much difference in what they do. I wonder if the chickens are roost. No. I bet that, to me, that would be the thing that, if anything, the chickens are going to be going, what in the world? It's going on. And when the sun starts coming back out, is the rooster going to crow thinking it's daylight? Maybe. Maybe. Well, f we're going to find out. Okay. I'm going to set cameras up. Okay. You do I got that. an idea. I got. Well, we didn't know anything about what, what time, what day, or anything, but now we're setting cameras up. <laughs> Boy, that transformed quickly, that didn't escalated it? escalated quickly, didn't it? It did. Oh, man. It did. Um, hmm. I had something in my mind and it left me. Uh oh. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, well um, I gotta find some glasses now. We gotta go. We gotta go on a glasses hunt. I hadn't seen them anywhere. I I hadn't either, but I hadn't looked. I remember last time they were at the drugstores. Yes, because. Does Nick and Nick and Zoe know everything that's going on around here? Well, I'm not going any further than the Dollar General, so they better have them. <laughs> you had to go far because they're the Dollar General about every three miles, I believe. Yeah. I, um. Well, <laughs> nationwide. Piper, May Carl's little friend, lives in a very rural area. Yeah. And Walmart's got them. 
Go ahead. Well, I went to Walmart. I, you think they'd be at the checkout or something. Anyway, so Piper lives in a very rural area, and they have to literally go all the way to town to get anything. Yeah. But y'all, they're getting a Dollar General. <laughs> and they're excited about it. I've been You know, I've seen a lot of people be mad because there's a Dollar General coming in their area. Yeah. But they're excited about it because Piper's example to me was, Miss Brooke, if we give out an orange juice, we have to go all the way to town. <laughs> and so her thinking is, if they give out an orange juice, they go to the Dollar General, <laughs> which is a good thought. Yeah. So they will appreciate that little store being nearby. You know what else she can use? What? A welding helmet. I do I not could, have a welding helmet. I can get you a welding helmet, and that'll be your first step to for your welding classes. I better just get the... <laughs> I better just get the Eclipse. One day, I'm going to get us a welder. One day. Well, let my medicine start working before you do. That'll work. But one day, I'm going to get us a welder. And we're going to learn how to weld. Okay. Well, weld, I'm not talking about like some perfect little, I'm talking about like, you know. Putting two pieces of metal together and making them stick. If we have something break down over here, we can slap it back together. Well, speaking of Piper, her brother Tristan, who is, well, he just is about to turn 17. He's not 17 yet. He knows how to weld. And so he could be our teacher. We could. I could, I could probably barbecue and. Get uh, Tristan Trist to get show Get Tristan us. to come over here. and Well, he'd probably be more into duck hunting or something of that nature. So can you provide a hunt for him? I'll tell you what I can do. I can hide Thomas around the corner and, oh, he, can no, call, no. and he can call him up. Oh. I'm not talking about you know, that. I'm talking about <laughs> he, could, <laughs> call him he up. could practice his turkey calling with Thomas. Mm. Well, it wouldn't take much because you can go whoop and Thomas is going to go boo. Tristan has much. turkeys at home, so I don't know how to work it. Yeah, way. I guess you're right. <laughs> we, we, I am going to learn to weld at some point. Well, I don't. I'm, I'm going. I'm sure there's a lot of YouTube videos. I oh watch. yeah, yeah. Um, and plus that in our what we need to do, we just need to make two pieces stay together. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to be clean, pretty. But I have seen that women make better welders than men. Probably, I bet because they got a steadier hand. I do not have a steady hand. My hand is pitiful and it always has been. Hmm. I do not have a steady hand. So I don't know if you could say across the board that women have steadier hands. It may just be something in their mentality about making it patience. prettier. Maybe they got patience. I don't have patience either. Huh. <laughs> so I'm thinking you may be more focused on getting it more precise huh does that make sense yeah that i don't makes know sense. i don't know <sighs> so um did you eat all the burn in dip mm -hmm. i bought jason some burn in dip uh if y'all don't know about that it's something mm. that michael key told us we needed to get and try and ever since then it's kind of like been you can't do without it yeah and now Nico at our Brown Farmhouse, he can't do without it. Mm -hmm. And uh, your games tonight, and you ate all the burn in stuff. We got to run to town and get some glasses anyway. I'm going no further than the Dollar General. But they don't have burn in still. I know. I'm concerned about <laughs> the glasses. <laughs> you shouldn't have eaten it all. I can make you some hummus. That'll in, work. Instead of burn in still. I love hummus. Well, I have all the ingredients Let's for hummus. Let's do this. And it's a, it's a healthier version. It, it, pro it is. Um, it hmm. probably is. I wonder if I got any um, pita chips. You do. It. Okay. You do. i tell you what I don't like. The everything pita chips. I don't. <laughs> I don't like that everything bagel seasoning. I just don't like it. And I know it's super popular and people put it on everything. But y'all, I just, it's too pungent. I, it's, to me, it's just pure garlic. The last time that I bought the um, Bernie and Stip was the Alabama going, well, I don't know, something to the do lead with eight, the, Probably going to the lead eight. Anyway, now. I wanted to get Jason some Bernie and Stip yep. to have for the game. And I was in Walmart, which never happens. I don't go in there. Right. But this day, I, I didn't have any and I wanted to make him happy. So 
I went down the aisles and I said, I got to get some pita chip, chips to go with this burn in dip. And I grabbed the pita chips and I grabbed the burn in dip. And I, I did not realize until I opened the box and tasted it. <laughs> I did the same thing. I bought everything pita chips. Uh -huh. And y'all, I'm going to tell you, standing in a store looking at all those boxes, they, look they the will same. have 22 variations of the same chip. They will. It's crazy. And so that's why I prefer the pickup. It's better for somebody else to have to look through all those different variations. They mm -hmm. know right where it is versus me bringing home something I didn't intend on getting. Yeah, I bit in, I, I took one out and I put it in the, the burn ins dip. And I, oh my. Oh. Somebody said, what is it? And I assume they're referring to the burn ins dip. Yeah, what's the dip? It's burn ins. That's what it's called. It, it, it's like it's supposed to taste like burnt ends, which is barbecue. Barbecue. Um, it's good. It is good. It is good. But if you don't want to continuously buy it over and over, don't ever try it. <laughs> because it'll be in your head that you 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 want some yep. more. Yeah. Uh, people won't need to post your hummus recipe. That last hummus you made was delicious. It's, Sometimes that's something, but last one was good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't know where it came from, do you? I don't. You didn't have any new notes? No. Oh, no. I didn't. Oh, no. But honestly, I don't really have any one particular go-to for hummus. You just, you, you need to have tahini paste. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say that? That's how we say it. You need to have tahini paste on hand, and you need chickpeas, and you need garlic, and you need a little lemon, lemon juice, juice. And, and blend all that stuff together, and you'll be good to go. Good to go. <laughs> I don't know any measurements. <laughs> and the burn ends dip that we know, only place we know has got it is Walmart. Well, it's a Walmart brand. Okay. And, you know, recently the container has changed it has the way changed. it looks. And, and I was hesitant to even get it because I thought this is not the same thing. But it is. And in our Walmart, it's in the center, center aisle. It's like over in the, the deli area. Um, kind of where the cheese is and stuff, but it's in that center aisle. They have like chicken salad that's pre-made and stuff like that. And it's pimento and cheese, maybe. Well, no, 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 okay. Don't start. You don't even. It's in another area. <laughs> oh, I get the groceries. <laughs> I think tahini is. Um, oh, I just thought of it. Sesame seed oil. Yeah, you're right. It is. I think that's what it um, is. The first time I ever. Ha read a recipe that had mm -hmm. tahini paste in it. I was like, nobody around here is going to have that. And there was one variety at that time. This was years ago. And I had to go to um, Publix or Whole Foods and get it. Get it. Yeah. Remember, yeah. our yeah. Walmart didn't, didn't have, have it. it. Then. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a long, long time ago. Yep. And and now there's several different brands, even at Walmart. It's crazy how things change. It is. It's because so crazy. everybody, you know, tends to eat hummus now mm -hmm. except for mary carl she won't eat it <laughs> i don't know why but she won't eat it it sounds like something that would be right up her alley mm, it does it really does she she will not eat it and i think she must have had some before that she didn't like uh, we her daddy will have to convince her to try it again because when i try to get her to try something it's totally out of the question <laughs> and then jason will try to get her to try that same exact thing and for some reason, she'll do it. It makes me a little disappointed. <laughs> it's just the way he says it. I guess. I don't know. The way you approach it. I'm just like, here, try it. It's good. <laughs> and you're so convincing. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and Jason, I, I bought, I usually get carrots, baby carrots to go with the hummus. Mm-hmm. But I find myself buying the baby carrots and then seeing the baby man dipping the pita chips in the hummus instead of the instead I of the know, baby carrots. I know. You know what I don't uh, You don't know, like the flavor of it's baby the carrots? cold. Uh, it's the cold. It was something well, super, we'll set super them cold. Out. We'll my set teeth, them out my on teeth the have kind of gotten sensitive as I gotten older. We'll set the carrots out I on know, the counter. That's probably what I need to do. And uh and then I tried a new recipe with, I think I may have told you guys, um, I did. It was carrots with some honey on it. Yeah. I did tell them. Yeah. 
It's really good. You might have to post it too. Well, I just salt, pepper, and olive oil and <laughs> drizzle with honey and roast them in the oven. Oh, um, but you like those <clears throat> because it's hot. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should roast the carrots and eat it with the hummus. That might be good. That might be good. That might be good. We shall see. Hmm. I mean, they never get flimsy enough to where they would break off. Yeah, that's right. So that might be an idea. That might be an idea. Hmm. Or you might talk me into going to Walmart and getting the burn ends dip. That's true. I'll ride with you. We can go on a date. Like, what good is we that going to do? Somebody go, riding with me. We can go on a date. Instead of Publix, we'll go to Walmart. I don't know about this. <laughs> We might better wait on the public. <laughs> oh, me. Well, I do. Um, you can put like one or two things in the cart for pickup and they'll have it ready in a couple of hours. Okay. Versus doing the whole order. I got you. But you still probably going to have to wait because it's Saturday. I try to not do any pickups on, on Saturday. Saturday or Sunday. That's true, too. Because everybody in, in the world does it then. And, hmm. I say we just ride over there. Hmm. Yeah. Well. We just ride over there. We were going to move the chickens today, but we're not going to move the chickens today. So we may, we may end up at Walmart instead. On a date night. No, it won't be tonight <laughs> because you'll be watching the game tonight. Date. That's right. Date day. Date day. <sighs> date. Well, when I went to the doctor appointment, I must say that I'd made zero stops. I went. Straight to the doctor and mm -hmm. straight back. I did not veer. I did not do anything in between. So I can have another day to, to do other things. You know, I was focused on one thing mm -hmm. and I got that one thing accomplished. I don't know why I said that. Just I had no need to, to go anywhere. Oh, I did stop somewhere. Where? Jason needed some new boots. Oh. And so... There is a store in Alabaster. It is called Don Walker's Western Wear. Mm -hmm. And it has, it's not just Western. It has every boot in the world in it. Boots and work boots. And so Jason um, decided that he needed to try on some boots. And he did just that. He tried on 85 pairs. <laughs> this was the day that we went to the movies. He tried on 85 pair and... He found one that he thought that he... Two. I was torn between two. And they didn't have a wide width. And so they had to get it from another store. Yep. And it came in. It and is. I stopped and picked up the boot that came in. At Don Walker's Western Wear. We got it home. And he has had a problem with something rubbing his ankle. Y'all, I, <clears throat> I had the hardest time. We talked about it before. I just had the hardest time finding shoes and boots. And I don't know. I just got an odd foot, I reckon. But where the seam on the boot sews in and it makes a T at your ankle, for some reason on my left ankle, that seam hits almost on every boot. And at first, it, it's not that big a deal. But after about a couple of hours, it makes my ankle really sore there. And I don't know. I just had the hardest time. So we got the boots. Got them here, felt great in the store, but now I've learned, you know, that doesn't mean anything anymore. But they got a great return policy. Well, it's not, it's not return. It's, it's exchange. an exchange. Yeah. <clears throat> so the lady told me, she said, don't let him wear them outside. Mm -hmm. Let him wear them around the house. And, you know, if he needs to exchange them, we'll be glad to do so. Mm -hmm. Well, so Jason did just that. And within 30 minutes, it started rubbing his ankle and he realized that he can't wear. Yeah, it started hurting my ankle. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so he knows he needs to return them. And yesterday, <laughs> we were talking about the first oh, Friday in, in Clanton yep. last night. Yep. And Jason thought we were talking about going to Don Walker's Western Wear for some reason. And I bet he said 50 times over and over. Want to go to Don Walker's? <laughs> Want to go to Don Walker's? Because he wanted to get some different boots. And me and Carl was like, no, I do not want She was to. laughing at me. I do not want to go to Don Walker's. She and was laughing at me. But I do need, I mean, look. 
Uh, yeah. He, yeah, he, he wears his... He does a lot of walking, um, obviously, from daylight to dark or sometimes past that. And shoes wear out quickly. They so, do. And I'm very, I mean, I, I really, I try to buy a good brand. But these are Danners. Um, but Georgia or um, I looked at the Thor Goods, which is a really good one. And then Red Wing. They didn't have Red Wing. They had their sister irish setter yeah which is the same company as red wing because there was a red wing dealer right down the road and i tried it on it did not feel good at all but, so i um, said you just need a thicker sock i do double up my socks i got double socks on now so but that, when it gets hot though it really is worse it, it there there is nothing that can fix it he just has i mean i'm not knocking him he has weird feet I always have Always, always, even when I was a kid, I've always had a hard time. That is something I've never done mm -hmm. for him. I've never bought a pair of shoes and just brought them home. Um, you know, for for my mama or daddy, you could always do that. You could just buy their size and yep. bring it home and then put them on and wear them. Same for me. I can wear any shoes. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, of course, a heel, you know, doesn't feel good, but... I can wear anything, but Jason's not that not that way. Not, I got a flat foot. I don't like anything with an arch in it. And I got a wide foot. And I got usually have to have square toes and a wide width. So it's just odd. He even went to a foot fitting. He went um, to a place in Birmingham and had got on the, the measurement thing that takes pictures of your foot all the way around and mm -hmm. tells you exactly what you need. And that tennis shoe that he bought <laughs> we bought it to to go to universal studios oh, so he, he was going to be doing a lot of walking yep and we ended up having to take those back mm -hmm. and they had an excellent return policy it didn't matter where you wore them you got to bring them back yeah they did they did um they did now when i do find something and it don't matter if it's boots yeah you'll wear the same i'll one. buy more than one too well, the thing about these Danner boots is they didn't last very long. They didn't last long at all. I mean, and, and Danner is a good brand. It and I've is. had Danner hiking boots in the past. Um, and I may have to go back to that. I just, the, the slip on, and I like, it's waterproof and it's higher up, which is great for like when I'm weed eating or just the higher up boots, nice to have around the farm. I saw somebody say that um, he needed to get with Lester and just get some Crocs. Well, oh, that's gosh. what we did. When we went to Universal, he couldn't wear the tennis shoes. Yep. And I suggested Crocs because I'd read that, that that's the number one shoe to wear when at Disney World or Universal mm -hmm. Studios is Crocs. And that's what we got him. I can't imagine wearing Crocs on the farm, though, with the <laughs> mud and the wetness. And even though our farm's clean, you still tumping water is over. Uh -uh. I couldn't imagine... Oh, I, I, I don't know how he does it. I have to wear <laughs> shoes until I get in my bed. I wear <laughs> shoes from all the time. Yeah. And I can't stand something getting in my shoes. I, 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 I just can't. I don't know. I couldn't wear Crocs around the farm. That's just me. <laughs> I'd be scared something. The moody step on my foot. I mean, or even the goat step on your foot. Yeah. Or you drop. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. It doesn't bear. It doesn't bother me, Carl, whatsoever. Mm -mm. She wears Crocs and and uh -uh. Uh -uh. I, I see that you know when you when your feet start sweating <laughs> and then you got dirt in the bottom of them and it makes that mud hole yeah, in the bottom. Yeah, of, uh -uh. Yeah. No way. Mm. I can't handle that. Mm. Somebody else can do what they want to, but I, I personally can't <laughs> handle it. Oh, I don't know. I just can't. So but, we don't know what we're going to do about Jason having some, it's okay. some boots. He may have. It's okay. Hmm. I mean, they had these Danners in stock. So there's the other pair that I liked. I'm going to get those. And if those don't work, I'll just go back to these Danners here. And in six months, they'll be wore out. And I just had to get another pair. <laughs> and that's what's so bad about it is we're constantly buying new <sighs> different boots. I mean, mine wear out too, but not like yours. Uh, I saw a gentleman named Dan Broussard. He knows who he is. And Dan 
is it very funny? And I am going to put that in a video pretty soon. What? He sent us this chicken. Oh, okay. Good. And let me just say, me and Mary Carl laugh every time we see it. So, yeah. I'm going to put that in a he sent us. He sent us a screaming chicken. Y'all guys know we've been getting those. And the donkeys really don't, hadn't cared for them very much. But. This is a different variety. <laughs> this one's way different. This one is, <laughs> this one is moody. One for Moody. Oh, if that goodness. doesn't give it away. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we we'll, we're definitely gonna show that to them. Yeah. yeah. See what they think about that. Yeah. It's uh it's it's funny. They That's might all, all run. <laughs> <laughs> they might all run. Oh me. Mm. All right. Well, we don't know what we're gonna do, but we gotta find some glasses. We may end up going to Walmart. We may just go down to the Dollar General. Maybe I should call and see. We're not if they going have to. We're not going to Don Walker's. Not today. It's okay. Saturday and the interstate gets kind of crowded on You're Saturday, right. and I try to stay off of that. You're right. Of course, it can get crowded every day, but you know it's close to springtime and people are going back and forth to the beach. We're on beach interstate. That's true. But they're not that. going north. They're coming south. We got to get back home if we yeah. go. I saw the uh, people saying the crop boots, but the crop boots I saw, unless they changed, it still got the the vented holes in the foot part. Yeah. And that's what I just, I can't, I don't know. I, that would just, a rock get in there because we get, to me, stuff would get in it all the time. And that's what would make that them. gushy. Gushy stuff on the bottom. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I can do it. I just don't think I can do it. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Well, well, we will plan to be back here on Tuesday afternoon. I plan to have a video tomorrow, <laughs> although I don't have it recorded. Jason's got to edit it, so yep. I got to get it recorded, and he's got to edit it before Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Before Roll Tide comes on. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, good. We can do it. Good, 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 good. So uh, my coffee's not e empty, but I'm going to empty it as soon as this live's over. I'm just going to turn it up. <laughs> so I hope every mm. one of you has a good, good Saturday. I do too. Um, we won't have results of the eclipse until Tuesday on our live. And I'm going to do a... Um... But the video won't come out until Wednesday. Maybe we just have to keep it a secret. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, everybody have a good rest of your weekend, and y'all be good.